IBM WebSphere Application Server is a large, versatile product that meets the needs of thousands of businesses worldwide. Even so, it can be tough to find high-level information about the product's features. In this video, I'll try to explain the concept of topologies in the WebSphere Application Server product. WebSphere Application Server is structured somewhat differently than many popular products. We'll first cover how it is structured on the hard drive. What many people observe after installing WebSphere Application Server is that it has no core executable from which you control everything. In fact, the core is little more than a large set of libraries and general configuration information. The only built-in graphical interface is the Profile Management tool, which simply lets you create profiles. Profiles are the functional areas of WebSphere Application Server. Each profile is independent and contains the tools to create and configure servers and topologies. Profiles are the primary working area in WebSphere Application Server, however, without servers, they are little more than configuration depots. Servers are created within profiles and provide endpoints for users to access your applications. Each profile can configure multiple servers, each of which can be configured in a variety of different ways. Now granted, this is a very simplified view of WebSphere application server on the file system. I'll certainly delve into more depth in a later video, but I've deliberately used this kind of diagram because of its similarity to the diagrams we'll see in the next section on topologies. A topology in WebSphere application server refers to an organization of one or more interconnected servers. There are several different kinds of topologies, and understanding the strengths of each will help as you plan your application deployment environments. There are three layers or scopes to a common WebSphere topology. The largest scope is called the cell. The cell groups one or more nodes. Each node groups one or more servers, which in turn are the smallest unit of the topology. There are both similarities and differences with the file system layout. Nodes and profiles are essentially equivalent, as each profile defines a node. The servers are equivalent as well. However, because cells have the capacity to span multiple physical machines, they are not equivalent to the file system install location. A cell is a virtual concept used to group nodes, and there is no physical equivalent. The single-server topology is the most basic and the default for new profiles. It provides a fast, easy, and low overhead server for deploying and testing applications, testing resource configurations, and other tasks that may not require high availability. A single server topology can be absorbed into other topologies that will be described later, which means that it's a convenient starting place that can later contribute to an existing topology. The network deployment topology is WebSphere application servers distributed, highly available topology. With this topology, you can span any number of machines, create clusters, and manage the entire topology from a single point of entry. The size of a network deployment topology is limited only by available hardware. The admin agent topology is new in version 7 of WebSphere Application Server. This topology consists of a single admin agent profile that manages one or more single servers on the same machine. The advantage of an admin agent is the ability to remotely manage a single server without an additional connection to the physical machine. Some typical operations, such as restarting a server, are difficult to support in a single server setup. The admin agent gives you a secure, standardized interface through which you can perform this and other operations. The job manager topology, also introduced in version 7 of WebSphere Application Server, enables you to manage multiple cells from a single entry point. Note that it does not belong to other cells, rather it provides a convenient means of managing and monitoring multiple disparate topologies. In summary, the IBM WebSphere Application Server product consists of a file system layout with core libraries, profiles, and servers, supports topologies consisting of cells, nodes, and servers, and allows you to combine topologies for greater manageability and scalability.